It's like when I watch you in Charleston and I see y'all kind of fell out, it sounds like people conflate business and charity together and you can't distinguish between. We never did a charity. I do my own charity. Mm-hmm. So when y'all do like the get backs and going to the I, school? He never did no get back from me. Give back from me. Okay. I do big give backs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't never did no give back. Yet. But we went to the school. We went to a couple of schools. We went to Fort Worth ISD. Something happened where they told him he can't cut step foot on Fort Worth ISD school, schools again. Why not? Uh-huh. They thought it was like one week we went, then the next week we came. They were like, he's not allowed to be on the campuses and all kind of shit. But. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But isn't that a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, nah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's, because this, I mean, we got, as you know, I mean, hip, hip-hop is deadly mm-hmm. um, because people are really trying to live out lyrics. Mm-hmm. They're really trying to be what they rap about instead of just being entertainers. So do people like... Charleston White coming along and doing what he did is like reset the market. In, in fact, it's like a breath air, breath of fresh air to all these artists because now they be like, man, I ain't got to keep acting like I'm really living like that. Mm-hmm. They're going back to entertainment. Do you feel like Charleston White was needed? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. When, when, y'all, when y'all first linked up, did you and Charleston link up for business or charity, cause it it he seemed put, like he put me on his podcast. Okay, he put me on his podcast. You know, uh, yeah. So it was like it was it was business. Like he didn't get personal with us. Mm. I, you know what I'm saying? We met at the strip club. We went to church with each other. Uh, I like that dynamic strip club and church. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. We were sitting in the strip club one night, and I said, "I'm gonna go to church in the morning." And he said, "Uh, he, we met we met him with the church." So you know. Yo, true Christian fashion. Uh yeah, you know, sometimes you know it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? Um, so but when y'all linked up, cause like when I watch you in Charleston and I see y'all kind of fell out, it sounds like people conflate business and charity together, and you can't distinguish between We never did a charity, I do my own charity. So when y'all do like the get backs and going to the school? He never did no get back from me. Give back from me. Okay. I do big give backs. Mm. <laughs> I ain't never did no give back. Yet. But we went to the school. We went to a couple of schools. We went to Fort Worth ISD. Something happened where they told him he can't cut step foot on Fort Worth ISD school, schools again. Why not? Uh-huh. They thought it was like one week we went, then the next week we came. They were like, he's not allowed to be on the campuses and all kind of shit. But, mm. You know, uh, he got a lot of haters, but you know, it was a good, it was a good time, period of time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got what I needed out of it. You know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I le- you know, I learned from every situation I was in. I don't think how bad I wish that that documentary would have did the plans I had. You know, uh, yeah. I think I think big. You know what I'm saying? So before we get into the documentary, mm-hmm. just want to ask you a question. So with you in Charleston, is that how life operates? Like once a person get what they want or got everything they need out of it, it makes it easier for them to leave because you see uh, no more value there? No, it just you got to understand if the person on the driving in the same lane as you, if they trying to get to the same destination as you. See, different people got different outcomes in life and looking for uh, different um looking for different uh, results. So, you know, um, for me, you know, uh, I got a whole bigger vision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think big. I could have dropped this Mo3 album eight, nine months ago, but you know, I sit back and think big and continue to sit there and analyze everything to see what I can do to better my situation and everybody else's situation around me. So I don't live in a moment. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, it's like a piece of a puzzle. Yeah. That puzzle gotta fit. And that piece gotta fit to make the whole puzzle complete. So what do you think Charleston White mindset is versus yours? The moment. Mm. I try to set myself up for the future. 
But the future isn't promised. All you promise is this moment. Oh, no, my future is promised. Because if I try to set it up for something happening to me right now, everything is still moving in place. Gotcha. You understand what I'm saying? I think, I think, I think six months down the line, you know, uh, you know, everything I do in every year, I get better at what I do and how I do it. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, first you got to build your foundation. You got to know what you want in life and where you want to go in life, how you want to go. 